So we've been working on this new trophy lodge for almost six months now, and you guys have been asking for a tour for a while, and I think it's finally time that we do that. It's definitely not done, but it's in a position that I'm pretty happy with. So this is the obvious place to start. It's the best multi-mount in my entire lodge, and it just made sense to put it right in the entrance. But before we go and look at the scores, I just wanted to say that I'm going to link as many of the hunts for these animals as I can down in the description. So if you want to see how we got some of them, those links will be down there. But this one starts with the 278.8 albino diamond whitetail, and he was actually only a level 2. Whereas the piebald diamond whitetail is a little bit smaller at 278.5, but he was a level 3. And I think the reason is, if you notice this guy's tip to tip spread is kind of small because his main beams curl around. The albino's is a lot bigger because his main beams go more out, so I think that's the reason, and I honestly didn't realize that until I was setting up for this video. I had no idea why the albino was bigger, but I think that's the reason. But anyway, obviously the most important animal here is the great one. It's a 633.1 score, which when you figure a huge diamond is about 300, for him to be twice that and more is just crazy. And to get him with a bow after a crazy white tail grind, we shot... I think 8 diamonds, including these two rare guys, a bunch of other rares, I mean you'll see the imprint of the Great One grind throughout this lodge, because there are a lot of whitetail in here, but it just made for a crazy cool multi mount. And actually beside that is maybe my other favorite mount in the lodge. It's a Huddle Fallow with a Gold Albino back here, which is actually a mission animal. If you didn't know there's missions on Hirschfelden that you can get a pretty good sized Albino Fallow deer. A melanistic, he should have been a silver, but we got a little bit of a weird shot on him and he ended up being just a bronze. If you watch the video, you'll see. It literally seems like my shot didn't hit where I was aiming, but because literally a couple hundred meters later we shot the diamond, between the two, I'm pretty happy that the melanistic was the one that got messed up because it just makes for a really cool multi-mount. In real life, fallow deer are pretty commonly like a bunch of different fur types, so I think it's cool to kind of replicate that in the multi-mount, but... I think we'll stay in this room and go over to this side. So the geese are kind of just placeholders because I've said it over and over, you guys have probably heard it by now, but I'm trying to do all gold rares are better or diamonds in this lodge. And of course, all these geese are just silvers, but they look cool, I wanted to put them there. And we do actually have one gold rare up here on the wall, an albino wildebeest, which was actually shot, I think, in the same herd as a diamond wildebeest, which I'm not sure if I still have that one up in the lodge anywhere. But still cool, a good sized albino wildebeest is pretty hard to come by. And uh, this is a little bit odd. European hair in the Trophy Lodge right now are just all stretched out and weird looking. They're fine like on the map itself, just once they get in the lodge they're really strange. But a little diamond one there, the common gray fur type. And we'll have another one back through the hallway that's like the common brown. But speaking of the kind of common different fur types, we have two mouflon over here. This guy's a 184.4 with like the lighter common fur type and a 183.7 with the darker type. And I really like that, where there's like multiple common fur types and getting both of them in the lodge. I just love the variants, but two diamond teal, 4.6 and probably 4.6 again. That's the most common score for them. And actually a decent sized piebald harlequin duck, 6.8. They go to 7.5, I think so. He's not bad, but two diamond red deer. This was, I believe the newest one, the one we shot on parquet at night. And this was the first one, which He's just kind of ugly looking with the two different racks. He's actually, I believe, my biggest one at 254.6. Uh, biggest true rack one anyway. But yeah, I mean, putting him like that, he doesn't look as bad, at least from over here. So I sort of figured we'd do that. But then we'll go to the other side. Actually, we have this little diamond teal real quick first. That's actually a red one, which is at least a little bit different than the others. And we have a white tail jackrabbit diamond 6.6. .6, but then we have this wall. So again, two diamond cinnamon teal, both are 4.6 again. We have one of my favorite looking diamond pronghorn, just a 99 score, and a mountain goat over on this side, 112.6, and it's the beige one. I still want to get a light brown, but still pretty cool up there on the wall. And then we have, it's my smallest diamond Rocky Mountain elk, but it's got like the tallest antlers by far. And just up there next to everything, even with the water buffalo, he just looks massive, but Speaking of the water buffalo, I think this one was a mythical, but still a diamond 199.4. That was back when diamond water buffalo were a bit more common. And actually, this one was a legendary. He's, I think, still my biggest one in the lodge, 202.7. And at that point, legendary water buffalo weren't making diamond very often, so that was actually nice. But then we'll move into this room, and this guy was actually in a video recently. A max weight, actually, 412.8 diamond rosy, and he was actually shot on Twitch probably about a month ago, but 
like I said, he finally just got into a YouTube video pretty recently, and just with a little female known as like Mountain Lion, and I like this multi mount a lot, but I really hope eventually they let us do a Rocky Mount Oak, just since they're in the same map, I think it would make sense, but I think we'll save this big wall for the end, just because it's got like the most animals in one place. So we'll go over here with the Diamond Jackrabbit, and I got a lot of these just because I was hunting Whitetail and stuff, but I like them, it's a good way to fill these little platforms, but then two Diamond Springbuck that are almost the same score, 111.6 for the bigger horns and 111.2 for the smaller ones. They're just so close, but different horn shapes. Then we have a pretty small diamond turkey, 4.6, and a light brown turkey, 4.2, and I like them. Like, the brown fan, it just is really cool looking on the wall like that, but then a nice little melanistic gold mallard, and I might move that. Actually, when I'm done with this, I'll show you why uh, in a little bit, but for now, we're staying in here. The leucistic gold plains bison, which we shot pretty recently on Twitch as well, and one of my favorite multi-mounts that's not basically any kind of big game. An albino jackrabbit, which actually scored gold, 5.5 is like really solid for them. A diamond coyote, 56.8, and a piebald gold coyote, 49.9. I just really like the way that one comes together. And this is one of the only platforms in the entire lodge I have that is not a multi-mount. And it's just a black gold female wild boar, which again, with the whole trying to get gold rares or better, eventually this is probably gonna get replaced, but they're just so cool looking and you really don't see a lot of them. So I like that there for now, but then up above them we have a actually max weight but not max score Diamond Wildebeest. 39.8 is still decent for them, but for max weight actually probably a little bit low. But my second Diamond Mountain Goat, 112.5 common fur type, so a little bit different than the one out on that wall. And I think the only whitetail in this entire lodge that is not a product of the Great One grind. 277.7, he was shot after we got our great one, but then we'll go over to this side. We have another goose, which I'd like to replace, 6.3 scoring female. I don't know if I want to replace this or not. I mean, again, cool scoring rares, but I don't know. An albino red deer is pretty cool, 137.5, so we'll see what happens with that. That's likely to be like the last one to replace if that's what we end up doing, but then we have a diamond turkey by him, 4.6, and I think that just leaves the big wall, so... At the bottom we have two rare grizzly, an albino, and a melanistic, but both are just females. And what I did up here was just kind of the antler mounts, because I think that actually looks pretty cool. It's two reindeer and two red deer. Both red deer are legacy racks, 249.7 diamond, and a 252.1 diamond. And both of these reindeer were shot when 400 was the requirement for diamond, but they're both over the current 430 requirement, so 447.5, and I think 440s on this side as well. Yeah, 443. Two more animals that probably I'll replace eventually, 21.8 leucistic black buck and a 24 scoring melanistic. I just like that they're like different fur types and pretty similar looking. The melanistic's a slightly bigger horn shape, but still pretty cool. And in the middle there, a pretty good sized 506.8 Rocky Mountain Elk. But again, all the diamond Rockies we have in this lodge are brown fur type and I really want a different fur type. Still though, I like the way that kind of brings that whole wall together. Then up top, two more geese that I want to replace, 6.6, .6, actually male but still silver, uh, brown hybrid goose, and a little gray 5.1 female. Two diamond ducks, 4.6 cinnamon teal, and I think maybe the only diamond mallard in the entire lodge, a just 20 scoring one. I'm not sure if I have any others in the lodge, but I want to get two for the back room. But I think that's the entire entrance now, if I'm not mistaken. Hopefully I got everything. But that's got us in the main hallway, and we're going to start with this wall just so I can mention what I was talking about with that melanistic duck. So three of the four up here are goal scoring rares. There's the melanistic 18.3, brown hybrid 18.3, leucistic 16.2, and then the piebald is just a silver 14.5. So I'm thinking about maybe bringing that gold melanistic out to here just so they're all golds, but ideally I guess I'd want a gold piebald, but maybe we'll do that for now. But then... In the middle up here is the only diamond caribou or reindeer that's below the current diamond requirement of 430 that I'm going to keep. And it's just because I really like this rack shape. And I mean, he made diamond when we shot him, so I thought it was cool. But on opposite sides of him are a diamond kudu and a diamond black buck. And just because they have similar horn shapes with the curls, I thought that was cool. And I think, so I don't forget them, we'll do the entrance animals. So this is a albino jackal that we messed up. I think I shot him in the vertebrae or something, but... Yeah, 21.2. He would have been a silver at best anyway, so eventually probably an animal to replace. 
and opposite him a little piebald female coyote. Then we have, I believe this was almost a max scoring diamond black buck, 29.4, and the only diamond axis in the lodge right now, 359.3. But then we'll do this wall. I kind of like the way this came together, it's just four pretty big antler species. This diamond fallow is the same score as the one out there. We shot this guy with the bow, 267.3. We have one of the diamond white tail we shot doing the great one grind, 282.8. This might be the level two I shot in multiplayer. Not 100% sure on that. A diamond black buck, which eventually I want to get one with the big rack, but for now, just a small rack, 178.5. And the first diamond mule deer we shot, 436.6. And I still want to get one that's not a blonde fur type, but we're really running out of time for that. But then we have the multi mounts, and actually, before we do that, I will forget the rabbits. So, scrub hair, I think the only diamond scrub hair I have, 5.5, and another very odd looking <laughs> Euro hair, the brown common fur type. Actually, same score, 6.6. .6. But then we'll do the multi mounts in the middle. Yeah, this is slightly smaller than the weird looking diamond red deer over there, 0. 0.6 below, 254. And the only mount stick I've gotten so far, nice little female, but that makes for a nice multi mount. I think it's difficult for me, but this might be my favorite multi-mount in this hallway. It's an albino male grizzly, which is only a silver, but they're so hard to come by. Just grizzlies, they feel like they're 80% female, so I don't know. Maybe eventually we'll get a goal scoring one, but with a nice diamond male, which actually we shot in the same hunt as the caribou up there, so kind of cool to keep them in the same place. But then definitely the competition for the best multi-mount in this hallway is this one. It's an albino gold cape buffalo, and I wanted a good scoring rare cape buffalo for so long. To get one that's that big, like almost mythical, and mythical horns is cool, but with that is the biggest diamond lion I've shot, 49.6, a blonde female lion, and just a common female, which eventually I want to get a rare one for. I think I still want three rare female lions, so that might take some time, but we'll continue back on this hallway. Obviously, these are diamond water buffalo from when they were super common, so 201.2, 196.3 orange score, which I wanted an orange water buffalo diamond for so long, but then I got one when they were really common, so I don't know how much that really counts, but then a 193.6 and a 197.1. Now, there's going to be a diamond water buffalo back here that's like 170 score, it's that guy there actually, and they just don't score as high as these now, like they max somewhere in the area of 180, so they kind of changed that, but... These guys were all diamonds with the kind of old requirement, but then four diamond ducks, 7.2 harlequin, a 4.6 cinnamon teal. Actually, we, not, we do have another diamond mallard, 19.7, and another 4.6 cinnamon teal. I forgot about that one, so I could actually bring the two back here, but I don't know. We'll have to see. But yeah, we'll go down the sides and into the side rooms before we go into the back room, because that's kind of got the most animals. So in here's a bit of a work in progress at the moment. We have a red female warthog, which I believe the reds can only be female. So if I want one of these in the lodge, it's just going to have to be a bronze score. Maybe I'll get a good scoring albino one of these days. But then we have a fox, which I sort of messed up twice. Uh, I believe I shot him with the 300 by accident. And I also hit him in the vertebrae. But he's chasing a pretty nice sized 6.7 diamond jackrabbit. I think that one might have been max weight. Not sure on that, but yeah. Eventually, I guess I'd like to get a gold uh, rare fox, but still cool to get a melanistic for that. Then up here, we have a diamond whitetail, which I believe is shot on the same day as the great one, because I'm pretty sure June 10th is the day we got that. Opposite him is a diamond bathygis ibex. And up here is a red deer that I guess, again, eventually I'll try to replace just a 133 uh, silver. But then on this wall, we have a slightly smaller light brown turkey than in the other room, and another diamond one just 4.6 again and up top two more great one grind animals a 278.2 diamond whitetail and a 279.7 which was also shot the day of the great one and that's right we shot two that day so that's probably the right thing but yeah top middle there is a max score diamond plains bison which was shot fairly recently on silver ridge peaks one of i think four or five max score animals in this lodge but then back here we have a little cape buffalo wall and still some empty plaques through here, but for now I kind of like the way that is just with the three. It's a 155.9 and 153.5, both black fur type, small horns, diamond cape buffalo, and up top is the bigger horns, also black fur type, 157.8. And 
I have said it so many times, you guys probably know, I really want a Bighorns one with a bow, but unfortunately we haven't run into that yet. All these ducks are kind of just placeholders. Um, that's actually a nice brown hybrid, 18.1, but, huh. We have a gold piebald, I didn't even know that. All right, so some stuff to definitely move around. We have two gold piebalds. I don't even know why I have them in here, so that is definitely something I'll move when we're done with this, but then through here is, it's kind of coming together, but definitely not something I'm done with. A diamond black fur type again, Cape Buffalo 155.6, two silver leucistic plains bison, and a kind of decent silver piebald elk. But yeah, that's all we have in here for the moment. It's mostly weapon storage, this room, but there's some small plaques we can fill eventually. But yeah, we're going to go down the hallway here. I think we'll do this side first, because most of these are animals that I don't intend to keep here. Actually, I think all these, except for this piebald Rocky Mountain Oak, are like uh, silver scoring, so I don't really intend to keep these, including the goose. It's like all below gold, so eventually I want to get better ones, but it's just going to take a while, because, I don't know, it seems like the animals that I hunt mostly are not ones for these biggest plaques, but then we have some stuff that actually is staying. 7.2 and 7.4 diamond harlequin duck, and two 4.6 scoring diamond cinnamon teal, and then two more diamond water buffalo, 202.6 orange, and 200.4 just common, again from when they were really easy to find, and two rare axis deer, 321.8 piebald, and a 286.4 melanistic, which I think, if I remember right, was shot in the same hunt. But two diamond turkeys, 4.6, and actually 4.6 again. Most of them are 4.6. I thought maybe one of those was actually different, but then we have another little side room to go in. And this one I'm actually really happy with at this point. I maybe want to move a few things, but it's really come together pretty nicely. So diamond and red brown lesser kudu. We have three rare whitetail again from the great one grind. All gold though. 266.3 piebald, which is the biggest one. Nice little albino in the middle, 232, and a 222 piebald on that side. And then... A recent addition, actually a bunch of recent additions, one 11.3 beige mountain goat, 4.6 diamond turkey again, the 222 piebald moose, which I really like, I didn't realize how cool they looked, I haven't shot one in a while, and the, I think this was the level 4 diamond pronghorn, 98.4, but two more diamond bathetes, a pretty nice diamond dark gemspuck that we shot with a bow, and I can't remember if this was the cape buffalo we shot with the bow or the one we shot at 400 meters but it was the one it was one of those two from that hunt and actually the room we're going in has the other one so either way it's uh <laughs> those two from that video but the only diamond black bear in the lodge right now 23.8 and one of the only other platforms that has just a single animal and not a multi-mount we've got another diamond mule deer which is a little bit smaller than the one from earlier and blonde fur type once again actually shot with a recurve on stream which was interesting but Diamond Wildebeest, I believe my first Diamond Pronghorn, and another Diamond Bethides on this side. Then the two Diamond Bighorn, this is the smaller one and the first one I shot, 166.6, and the bigger 172 Dark Brown Fur Type as well on this side, which I wanted a Fur Type Diamond Bighorn, so that was nice. And I just threw one of my better Legacy Rack Diamond Red Deer back here, 264.9. But then this really isn't going to stay forever, but another platform that's currently occupied by just a single animal. A gold albino pronghorn. I mean, it's pretty cool. If he was a little bit bigger, like if he had the four horns, even if he was just a gold, just that are way taller, there's a good chance he'd stay, but I think eventually some kind of multi-mount's gonna end up going there. But then up here, kind of work in progress, this is the Cape Buffalo I mentioned. Um, I think that's the one I shot at 400 meters now that I'm looking at it. Still not 100%, but a 7.3 diamond harlequin duck and a little piebald on this side which was close to diamond just right on seven score albino blacktail which i think might have been while i was grinding for the great one or maybe that was right after uh blacktail and elk got fixed actually but that one is certainly a grinding for the great one animal another piebald whitetail 220.9 gold so we're getting pretty well through this, but we still have several more rooms. This hallway is all bow kills, so a 494.3 Diamond Rocky Mountain Elk, that was a pretty recent addition. We have the Diamond Water Buffalo that I mentioned, 173.7, so that's the only Diamond Water Buffalo since they actually fixed them, but still pretty nice. That one was Max Wade actually, shot him charging us, but Diamond Euro Bison, again, all shot with a bow, 
Diamond Cape Buffalo, which I want to replace with a Bighorns one eventually, and a little Diamond Plains Bison over here, which was actually shot in the same hunt as our Max Weight and Max Score Diamond Wolf, which we'll see in a little bit. But this is the Diamond Rocky Mountain Elk we shot with the bow. That one was on stream as well, which is... I don't know. I need to stop having to kill diamonds with the recurve, basically. But then we have a 458.5 Diamond Reindeer with two piebalds. The two piebalds were shot in the same hunt. They're both silvers, so I guess eventually I'd like to replace them. But it makes for a pretty cool multi-mount at the moment. But this room's got a couple of new additions. The Diamond Goose up here being one of the most recent, a 8.6. Little 447.3 Diamond Reindeer. Another small rack Diamond Blacktail. He's actually 185.5 because he's a bit wonky. But yeah, definitely still a small rack. And the Max Score Diamond Gunsbuck 358, which I had that on a full body platform because it was Max Score, but I'm just running out of platforms to put stuff on. But then we have another light brown gold turkey. And two Diamond Turkeys on plaques that are actually for like moose and stuff. 4.7 actually, I think the first time we've seen a turkey above 4.6 so far and then of course a 4.6 back here and so I don't forget the mission animal diamond wild boar slightly bigger non-mission diamond wild boar and again like the mouflon lighter common and darker common fur type is pretty cool but a silver melanin security which again I guess is something I'd like to replace at some point but melanin security look cool in alpha wolf multi mount we have 39.3 diamond Melanistic, I actually think these two were shot out of the same pack. The Melanistic uh, that came running after him and the Little Egg White. So that's a pretty cool multi-mount. I'd love to get an albino in here, but for now it's pretty cool with the Egg White. And then we have our Diamond Lynx, which was also pretty recent, but I do want to get a female rare to do that multi-mount. But for now it's pretty cool to have that guy in here. I didn't realize it, but I missed a 7.3 Diamond Harlequin Duck on my way in here, which... Kind of makes this hallway not all bow kills, but we'll just pretend on that one. But I think that leads us into our last room then. And this one's going to take a while, so we'll just start with right inside the door here. We have the turkey multi mount with an albino female, a leucistic 4.2 male, and the biggest diamond turkey I have, I believe he's 4.78 actually, so almost max, 4.8's max. But we have that albino up there. I just like the gray fan better, and since we got the albino female just a little bit different, uh, I guess feather type if you want to call it that for the multi mount But then we have one of my favorite multi mounts. I want to get a diamond gray mouflon It just seems pretty unlikely to grind for one, but maybe I'll do that But then it's a gray diamond 39.1 and albino actually mythical which we shot on a twitch stream I don't think that one's anywhere on YouTube So unfortunately you can't see that one and then a gold. I think he was level six or seven 36.5 winter so that ended up being a really cool multi mount with the rares and then up here it's not a multi mount but it's about as close as i can get with a bunch of geese there's two diamonds 8.9 which was recent and 8.8 .8, which was a while ago a light gray leucistic actually silver so i want to get a better one and bald leucistic also silver so eventually i'd like to get a better one and i shot a gold bald leucistic just it was on the little account i created when i was in utah last time so go figure can't get one better than that but then we do have a couple of gold rares on this side, a gray 7.2 and a brown hybrid 7.7. .7. So I like that. Eventually I want to get the melanistic for that, but it's a pretty cool little goose wall. And speaking of bird walls, on this side we have a max scoring diamond harlequin duck 7.5 and the 7.2, which was actually shot out of the same flock. You can see they were harvested about, what, 40 seconds apart? I didn't know there were two threes in the same flock or I would have recorded it. But I do actually have them, at least their screenshots, in a video that's with the Diamond Grizzly Bear. But two Diamond Cinnamon Teal, both 4.6, but this guy's a red fur type. A Diamond Pronghorn, I think my biggest, 101.3. The Albino Turkey, I mentioned, 4.1. And I believe my biggest Diamond White Tail in the Lodge, 289.3, which was shot pretty early on in the Great One grind, actually. Then we have the Diamond Jackal, which is actually only my second one ever. And the only Diamond Warthog in the Lodge at the moment is a Red Brown 61.7, which eventually I need to get more of those for some of the small plaques, but pretty cool to have that guy on a full body platform for the moment. We got our recent Gold Blonde Lion with a common female, and as I said, I want to get a bunch more rare females for these multi-mounts. This is our Ibex Grand Slam. So we have the Bathedes in the back there, 196.3, which is not my biggest one, but it's the only, like, gray common one I got, and 
just to make the multi-mount two of each, I did that. We have our Grados, which is the other gray one, 102.6. The Southeastern Spanish up front here, 91.8. And the Ronda, which is the last one I needed, 109.8 uh, on that. So it made for a pretty cool multi-mount with the different fur types. But then we have a multi-mount that we've changed over and over. At this point, it is a Gold Albino, 175.3 Plains Bison. The Max Gore Diamond Wolf I talked about, which is just right on 40. And the Egg White that we shot a couple of weeks ago on Twitch, 32.8 for that one and I guess I'd like to get a rare wolf for that uh, female as well but I like the egg white better than the red brown we had there before but then we have another small diamond blacktail I didn't even realize I had three but that guy's 179.4 and the only uh, fur type diamond mountain lion I've shot so far 39.4 and actually my first diamond mountain lion so that worked out fairly well but then two more diamond white tail fighting over here, 288.5 and 283.9. So two of the better ones. I think probably the second and third biggest next to that guy up there. And then above them is kind of another Cape Buffalo wall. So 154.1 and 151.8 small ones and a gray fur type, 156.9 bigger horn. So it was cool that the one in the other room there was the black fur type and this guy's the gray. So at least a little bit of variance. Like I said, I always like the fur type variance with them but then I think this is my second biggest diamond lion and now that I'm thinking of it the one that we shot a couple of weeks ago is 0.1 bigger than this I'm pretty sure so I may need to replace that but basically it's going to look the exact same with a common female lion and again rare female lions hopefully we can work on eventually and if I didn't miss anything the last multi mount in the entire lodge is a diamond road deer which is on this side 90.7 which right now they're really difficult to find but actually that guy walked out in front of me when I started to do the fallow missions from the very beginning there with the albino but then a melanistic gold 71.4 which I don't even know I guess I must have been grinding for red deer and quattro at that point and definitely grinding for red deer and quattro was the little piebald gold as well so that multi mount is definitely something that's staying diamond melanistic and piebald I think it's really cool but yeah Hopefully I remembered everything in this lodge. I can't imagine how long this video is because I've been recording it for almost 50 minutes till I remembered everything and went back and got stuff. But yeah, it's definitely coming along. There's a lot of empty, specifically like small platforms in the lodge and some of these bigger plaques like this. But I mean, in basically six months, it's really cool. And I don't know, I'm looking forward to seeing what this looks like maybe in six more months. But yeah, you guys have been asking for a trophy lodge tour for a while. That is the current state of the lodge, and like I said, I'm looking forward to continuing to add to it and getting new stuff, but that's going to do it for this video, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.